uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to add images inside uh, table rows and columns so let me show you the demo of the application we will be building so you can see there is a single button out there if i click it the pdf file will be downloaded and now basically if i zoom it you will see the image is inserted inside the column inside this row here so we have id first name last name email country and image so you can see the image is inserted inside this row so i will be showing you that how to add this image inside the pdf document in a table in a particular row in jspdf library in javascript so all the source code regarding this application will be there inside video description so this is the step by step blog post i have written you can see that so if you want to download all the source code you can go to the video description link so now let's get started by building this application so just open your code editor and make a index.html file here and simply we will change the title that uh, jspdf add image inside table rows and columns so for this we will be using a plugin library of jspdf which is jspdf auto table which used to create pay tables inside uh, pdf documents so now to include the jspdf library go to the video description link and uh, you need to import these two script tags simply paste it simply copy and paste it after the body so these are simply the jspdf library and jspdf auto table library so this is the cdn for this and now simply we will have a heading which is add image in tables rows and columns and then we will have a simple button which will be generate pdf so if you just refresh this application you will see there will be a button here simply generate pdf and we also need to just have our table we need to write the table tag inside this we will have table head tag and then we have this table headings first will be name the second will be this will be id the second one will be first name the third one will be last name then we will have email country and image so you can see we have uh, six columns here and after that we will have our table body so inside this you can insert some random values here so we can align this entry by giving a align attribute to the right position here so you can give some random parameters here let me give it for the email let me give this and now the image part is a little bit tricky in order to embed images inside tables we will use the base64 image for a image so this base64 code you can get for any image so let's suppose you want to get you can also use my service which is there inside freemediatools.com which is image to base64 so here you can upload any image of your choice let's suppose this image i select so it will give you this base64 code simply copy this and here inside the source paste it here like this let 
Disney Plus de... So now basically we have one row out there so we can repeat this four more times that's it so now our table is complete so now we can write the javascript part here which is simply so the very first thing we need to do is that we need to initialize a new js pdf document so first of all we will get the button button reference so when we click this button we will add an event listener we will execute this method which is generate pdf so we will execute this method here so we will initialize jspdf document like this jspdf and then we will use doc dot auto table which used to insert the table so this expects some parameters so the html will be used we need to give it the table id so that we can target it so we can give it this id table so that we can target this so put a comma here and have the body styles here and here you can provide any sort of CSS property so now to have min cell height this is the height of the table so we can provide here 15 you can provide any value of your choice and then we have this property which is did draw cell this will be a callback function so basically if you open this uh, inside browser you will see the images which are there so we are just embedding these images inside the table you will see this is the image here that we uploaded so this is if you open this image you will find out this is the base 64 code of the image which we are embedding so this is one way by which you can embed any sort of image using their base 64 code so there are five columns out there so if i click this button nothing will happen because i am writing this functionality here so inside this did draw cell method we need if condition here and inside we will compare data dot column dot index if it is equal to 5 and also the and condition data dot cell dot section if it is equal to body in that scenario we need to make the table data which we will be extracting the table data using data.cell.raw and then we will insert the image using we will say td.get elements by tag name this is the selector and here we will pass the image and we will select the base64 code using this zero syntax after that we will have the dimension of the image which will be data.cell.height minus so we will cal calculate this dynamically data.cell.padding and we will get the vertical padding so these are all things available inside JS PDF or documentation you can just read these methods so this sounds some and again we need to get the position of the text so data dot cell dot text position after that we will add this image doc dot add image this is a method inside js pdf in order to add the image we will use image dot source the x coordinate will be text position dot x the y coordinate will be text position dot y and the width will be dimension and dimension height so after that guys lastly we need to save this file with a particular name you can save it anything 
we will use the save method so I will call this file as table.pdf that's it this is all the code that is required so basically if I open this with live server so if I click this button let me see what is it is saying cannot read properties I think we haven't given the button the ID so we need to give the ID to the button so when we click this button this function will execute so now if I click this button you will see the table.pdf file will open and now you will see all the images have been inserted automatically this is the ID first name last name email country image you can change these images to whatever image that you want you can use my service which is which will give you the base 64 code just go to freemediatools.com and search for this service which is image to base 64 so upload any sort of image and uh, then get this base 64 code simply add this to your you can change this image so if I paste it sorry let me paste it once again So you, you get the syntax how you add how you can add this base64 simply copy paste the base64 code for the image and then your PDF file will be ready containing those images so in this easy way guys you can just add images inside your table columns and rows using JSPDF auto table library in JavaScript if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video